there. I'm back. Yeah. Took a while, but I'm finally back. It's good to see you too. So, I've been gone for a long time and sorry about that. Uh, it's been a little bit hectic here at my household. Well, at my old household because I moved. And uh, yeah, we got a lot of changes coming up. And we got a whole fish room build out in the garage. Now, that's gonna go slowly because I'm gonna do it a few tanks at a time. You gotta understand this is my first time building out tanks or building out a fish room, I should say. And I wanna make sure I can handle everything, right? Because, hey, I've only had like three tanks at a time plus the outside tubs. So this is a big step and a lot more responsibility. So I need to make sure it's something I can handle before I invest a ton of money in it and just decide to scrap it. I gotta say, I really miss doing this. This was a, a good release for me, you know, to go do something outside of just raising my children, work, you know, your everyday life, you know? Cause uh, yeah, keeping fish is awesome. Uh, documenting it on YouTube is also very enjoy enjoyable for me. So uh, I, I, I'm, I'm giddy, I'm giddy right now cause I'm excited to be back. And, uh, and I'm also excited for things to come. I mean, I've got lots of things lined up hopefully here. I got some uh, some tours coming up. Uh, I got uh, my fish room build out, right? So I'm gonna try to do, as I do that, I'm gonna try to take you along step by step. What else we got? Um, well, we got a Aquarium Beautiful contest coming up, of course. Uh, if you saw my video last year, if not, I'll try to link it up somewhere around here. And um, yeah, well, that should be coming up soon. I will actually be participating this year. So this will be my first aquascaping uh, competition and excited and nervous for that. I'm gonna have to get, uh, get on the ball here and do some practice. So where am I currently? Well, I got my 75 gallon, right? The 75 gallon is still looking pretty good. A lot of plants got lost uh, because I left them in these buckets for too long. But that's okay, you know, plants could be replaced. All my livestock made it, which is awesome. I'm very excited that they made it because I was worried about losing them during the move. I still have my 10 gallon tank here. Uh, this is the one that had the guppies in it. And there's still a few guppies in there, but it's very unconveniently located. And I'm definitely gonna have to do something about that soon. Also, we got this beast here. Oops, excuse the blur. We got this beast right in front of us. Now this is was a gift to me, or given to me, I should say, uh, by a buddy of mine. And it's very exciting to get to play with this. Got it set up here against the wall. This is 75. Um, yeah, there's gonna be another project on the channel that I'm gonna have to do. I gotta fix some of this bracing. Um, and then I gotta figure out what I'm gonna put in there. So uh, yeah, if you got any uh, suggestions, I think I know what I'm gonna put in there, but I would like to see what uh, you guys think should be going there. And uh, you never know, I might change my mind depending on what you say. And then here, you can see I've been shopping at the dollar per gallon so at Petco. I picked up six of these bad boys, uh, 20 longs. These are going to be the first setups that I want to do in my fish room build out. And yeah, I like the 20 longs because of the way they, uh, they're low and long. Uh, makes lighting planted aquariums easy. I love planted aquariums, so I'm going to stick with that. And these will probably be display tanks more than the... Uh, you know, breeding or anything like that. Um, so, we'll probably drill those bad boys and maybe even, uh, I don't know, I might do a auto water chain system right off the bat. I'm not sure yet. We'll have to figure that out as we go along. Even though I've been gone, I've still been a little bit busy with things because as you can see, I've ordered quite a few things here. You know, I've got uh, quite a few things. I ordered, uh, check this out. Due to my bad lighting, I want to make sure I get you guys some quality videos when I put these things out. And I got me a ring light. Hopefully that'll improve what I put out. And yeah, excited about that. Obviously almost Christmas time. That reef's got to get trash. It's falling apart. <laughs> Man, I got another box here. I got something from Mr. Aquarium Co-op. Another box there. A couple lights. Something else there, so as you can see, busy, busy time, time to get to work. 
All right, and last but not least, I did pass that thousand subscribers. Yay! So thank you very much to all of you subscribers out there. I really appreciate it. Um, apologize for not saying thank you for that earlier. It did mean a lot to me. It was amazing to get to that milestone. And I can't wait to continue this uh, journey in YouTube and hopefully get to more subscribers uh, by putting out quality content. And I hope you guys enjoy what I have to, to offer here. And uh, here's to seeing you in future videos.